We mm. don't, if you eat too much calorie, you're going to have vitamin K popping out your butthole. So you don't want too much of that either. So I think it's temporarily a great way to see how many plants am I eating a week? Do I hit my, uh, you know, plus 50 grams of fiber a day? Am I, am I hitting like good iron levels and my micronutrients are good, but I think permanent, permanently exactly what you touched on. It's going to be such a drag. And this is a beautiful thing. Fitness is amazing. You obviously go to the gym. You love it. It's a good time. You want to feel good. You, you, when you're counting calories, it's a way that you're like, um, oh, I kind of feel like it's a chore. And well, I think, it, it, yeah, it is a hundred percent. And it also is like what you just touched on is great. I do think it's, it is useful if that is your sport as well. Um, I guess if you need to do a bodybuilding show or whatever, I understand it as, as, as for that kind of level. Um, if you're an elite athlete and you're, you're chucking in like McDonald's and stuff just because it fits your macros, I think you're stupid. I think you should be, uh, mm-hmm. if you are following it, don't, don't uh, adopt the if it fits your macros. Do it like if it fits your nutrients and excel far superior by eating all these nutrient-dense foods. Um, but I also understand that to even show people how little they're eating as well. Um, sometimes it's good to be like, you're eating less than what a toddler needs to survive. A toddler needs 1,400 calories a day just to survive. We're a freaking grown adult going to the gym, using our brain at a far higher capacity, and you're telling me that you're eating less than a toddler? Like, not only are you setting yourself up for a mental illness, but you're actually ruining and depriving your brain full of vital Ca- uh, sorry, I shouldn't say calories, vital energy that is coming from carbohydrates. Again, don't fear carbohydrates. Again, touching on nutrition quickly before I jump into the other pillars. My biggest no's are protein is a myth. Okay. Uh, mm, all right. All right. Go, go. I will stand by that. Protein is a myth. It is not a necessary nutrient for the body. Okay. Amino acids, the building blocks for protein, Right. Are if you are going to look at anything, are what you should be looking at. Okay, the plants are inevitably building the muscles of those animals which you were then eating. So already, if you're a meat eater, you're getting secondhand protein, right? We all can accept that. But protein itself is not a necessary uh, macronutrient. You don't need to be hitting it. I went through tearing, and I tell this to a lot of people for months on end, right? Um, and I did not lose one, one iota of muscle, one iota of strength, one iota of physical uh, endurance performance. In fact, all of those increased tenfold. Um, now, I say How this long were you fruitarian for? I might have been, I think it was something like four-ish months, but then it kind of almost went to six months. I remember I had a few, a few days break. Um, yeah. But I can go days with fruit, man. Like Even um, the past three days, it was just a fruit diet. I, until last night where I just smashed some food with my girlfriend watching a movie because um, we vegged out. But yeah, I can, I, I am a very, very massive advocate of fruit-based diets. Um, protein is the myth. I'll get back onto that because amino acids are what are the building compounds within protein, right? So why would we be trying to chuck protein into our body? Why wouldn't we want to be chucking the building blocks of protein to enable the our protein to actually build itself, which is our muscles, right? Mm. So why after a gym workout are we told to smash a protein shake, not half a watermelon, which contains the most abundant amount of amino acids like leucine, lysine, which are prevalent in muscle building after the gym? We're not. We're not told that. Also, not only that, it is so readily accepted in our body because it is a high fructose fruit, which is so readily absorbed into our gut, okay? So I, I go back and say that if our bodies are pure vibration and pure frequency, right, why wouldn't we be feeding our bodies electrical foods? When we plug a, 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 a socket, right, plug something into a socket and it's a, a shitty rusty socket, right, we, we're not getting a good electrical current and something might charge slowly. Mm-hmm. But if we chuck it into a super high fast socket, it's going to be charging so quickly. The same goes for your muscles. Your brain sends signals to your muscles And those muscles go, oh, my God, there's a massive load right now. We need to push this. And the quicker that your brain can send a signal, which is an electronic signal to your muscles, the stronger you are. So how do you get stronger? You eat high vibrational foods, which is fruit and vegetables. The most the most high is is fruit. Protein is far less vibrational than your fruits and vegetables. So when you're looking at it, you've got to look at it from the perspective of I need to eat my fruit for my muscle building progress. Now, I know this goes so against the grain in anything, in any kind of way, shape or form, 
But <clears throat> when you start looking deeper and deeper into evidence and research and people that actually study bio, biology, you will understand the benefits of not being so fixed on this protein. Don't, and then don't even get me started on carbohydrates. We run off carbohydrates. Our body is carbohydrates. Um, so they're my nutrition tips. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, I'm going to go no comment for now. Cause this but is don't get me wrong. I, I still will eat my tofu on a, a daily basis purely because I like it. I will still have my protein shakes purely because I like it. Mm. Um, but I, I, don't I don't think, think there's a need for, for protein shakes. Like I don't, I think I, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's not necessary. Cause I think it is. I, I would, I would probably argue that you, you don't need to worry about it. 